Welcome to the Henry Madden Library. As you will quickly see, the library is more than just a building. It is a learning space and a busy place with lots of people coming and going all the time. It's also an environment that supports many activities like studying, reading, socializing, hanging out, playing games, watching movies on Hulu, YouTube, etc. The library is more than just books, journals, computers, and study rooms. It is your space, your place, and your library. There are many units, departments, and centers in the library that support and care about you, your learning, and your success as a student and a person. Before we can begin to explore the library, you need to know this. The library is basically two buildings. There's the North Wing, which is the new building, and the South Wing, built in the 80s but was also renovated when the new building was built. Most everything we're going to see today will be on the North Wing. Let's start with the first floor, or the main floor, of the library. Questions? Start Here Desk is the place to ask them. They welcome any questions you have, big, small, silly, even the obvious ones like, where's the bathroom? Research help? Yes. This is the desk to go for help in locating that book or finding that article for your paper. This is definitely the desk to go to when you really, really need help, especially for research papers, projects, or when you're just lost and not sure where to begin. Checking out materials? The circulation desk is the place to do that. But did you know you can check out library materials yourself as well? Just use the express checkout machines. My does it all the time when there's a line at the circulation desk. Looking for an iPad? The circulation desk has 26 iPads, 9 mini iPads, 28 Android tablets, and you get to keep them for 7 days. Renewing library materials? Yes. And you can renew them online as well from the library's homepage. Reserving group study rooms? Yes, definitely. The circulation desk can help you to do that as well. But you can reserve group study rooms online too. Yes, from the library's homepage. Come to think of it, you can do a lot of things online, like chat, email, questions, or research needs to the library as well. Let me give you the library's URL. www.fresnostate.edu forward slash library. Oh, I almost forgot. The group study rooms are located on the second and third floor of the library, and group means two or more people. This desk does exactly what the sign says, printing assistance. Basically, they help you with all your printing, photocopying, and scanning needs in the library, like how do I add money to my print card, or how can I scan this article to my email. The Discovery Hub, located next to the Printing Assistance Desk, is where you can go for one-to-one -one support for all your tablet needs. Staff at the Discovery Hub provide support for apps, smart devices, and technology trainings. Need to borrow a laptop? Forgot yours at home? No problem. The library has both, PCs and Macs, and you can keep them up to four hours. Take them anywhere with you on campus. Just remember to bring your Fresno State student ID card and an additional photo ID to check out a laptop at the laptop lending desk. Yes, two IDs are required. You know, people always ask what this office does. Well, let me tell you that they do much more than just answer questions. They provide and support a wide range of academic accommodations to students with verified disabilities who have registered with their office. They have many assistive technologies like screen and text readers, voice recognition software, and more. They also provide interpreting and related services like note-taking. As you go down to the lower level or collection level, you'll find one of the busiest centers on the campus, the Learning Center. Need some free tutoring in math, biology, or maybe some help with your writing? The Learning Center is the place to be. But tutoring is just one of their many services and programs. They also provide workshops like time management, note-taking, mind mapping, and the art of relaxation. Comes in handy during those stressful weeks of midterms and finals. Did I mention that the library has over one million books? Yes, and 99% of them are located right down here in the library's main collection. Just press this button and voila, browse to your heart's content. Wow, over a million books. This is the second floor, and we all know what's on the second floor, Starbucks. And of course, the quiet study area, which is on the second floor too, but in the south wing. 
The quiet study area is where you want to be if you really, really need to concentrate and study. The quiet study area is enforced 24-7, so be really quiet when you're here. This is the Graduate Study Center. They do a lot of writing tutoring in there for graduate students, and it's also a hangout place for them. I would show you more, but I can't get in. My student ID card will not work. I would need to be a graduate student to have access. Also on the second floor is Studio 2, where Tilt or Blackboard is located. You didn't know that you can get help using Blackboard? Well, now you do. And the Resource Center is where you want to be if you need help uploading assignments, setting up Blackboard Mobile Learn, or just having general Blackboard troubleshooting questions or problems, etc. Last but not least, on the second floor, and also in Studio 2, are the library's two classrooms. If your instructors tell you that you'll be having a workshop, training, orientation, or library instruction in the library, it's probably one of these rooms, 2134 or 2127. This is the third floor. I consider this floor to be the prettiest. Lots of light and a beautiful view. This is also where the Music and Media Library is located. By its name, you can probably guess what's in the Music and Media Library. CDs, DVDs, music scores, etc. But I bet you didn't know they also have flip cameras, audio recorders, and data projectors. And yes, all of them can be checked out for seven days. There is no excuse now not to do that multimedia presentation for your classes, especially now that the Music and Media Library also has multimedia editing software for your use. These are just a few of the many departments, centers, or help desks that can be found in the library whose objective is to help you succeed at Fresno State. So as you can see, the library is more than just books, journals, computers, and study rooms. It's a place where you can get help to become a better student, a place that has your success in mind, and a place that will answer your questions. By the way, the library does hire students. These are all library student assistants. If you want to work in this cool building, go to the library's administration office, located on the third floor of the library in the south wing. Fill out an application which will be placed in the student assistant application pool, and when there is an opening, you'll be called for an interview. Welcome to your library.